Good morning. How are you this morning? Um, I wanted to come on and share with you uh, something that has come up in my free community on Facebook here. Um, and that is the question of whether or not when you are doing a workout, is doing the modification that's being offered even worth it? Are you getting the benefits of the workout when you do the modifications? Because I know sometimes it can feel like, oh goodness, I'm feeling pain maybe in my knees or my hips or my back or anywhere in my body, or I just don't feel like I have the strength yet built up to do that full explosive movement. Like if the workout has jumps or if it has push-ups um, and you're just feeling like, ah, oh, that's just not where I'm at yet. Um, it can feel like sometimes doing the modifier, it makes us feel like we're not getting the benefits of the workout. So that workout may not be for us. Or maybe we start to feel like we just, why bother even doing the workout at all? But here is the thing. Doing the modifiers, they are there to help us build the strength. And I'll tell you this too, the modifiers, um, they are giving you the full benefits of the workout. So the person that's doing the full explosive movement is getting the same benefits that you are doing the modifications. So I've been doing a new workout program that has Tabata in it. And what Tabata is, um, is where you do an exercise for a certain period of time, and then you rest for a certain period of time, and then you repeat the exercise for a certain period of time, and then you rest, and you can continue on that pattern. So for example, we do an exercise like high knees, for example, for 10 seconds, and then we rest for 20 seconds, and then we do high knees for 10 seconds, and we rest, and we continue on that pattern. And the point of that Tabata is to raise your heart rate, to get your endurance built, um, and to, yes, work your muscles also. But you can do that with the modifier, so you can get the full benefits of the Tabata no matter if you are going full explosive with those high knees, meaning high impact, or if you are doing the modifier. So let me show you an example of this. A high impact move just means that both feet are coming off of the ground at the same time. It does not mean that you are doing anything more for your body than if you are keeping one foot connected to the ground. Um, so that you can then connect into the muscle more. And the whole point of any workout is you want to connect into your muscle instead of connecting into joints. We're here to work our muscles. We're not here to work joints because a built up joint doesn't look good, but built up muscles look really great, right? And they feel really great. Built up muscles is what helps us function throughout our everyday lives. So anyway, so if we are doing something, for example, like a Tabata, where we're going to try to increase our heart rate for 10 seconds and then rest for 20 seconds, the whole point of a Tabata is to increase our heart rate to 70% of its maximum for that 10 seconds. And then you rest and then you increase it. So you work as hard as you can in those 10 seconds. It doesn't matter if you're going high impact, full explosive or not, as long as you work your hardest in those 10 seconds. So in this Tabata that I just did in my workout today, we were doing high knees. Now high impact means both feet are off the ground at the same time. So explosive, I'm running in place, lifting my knees. Now if that hurts your knees in the joint, if that hurts your hips, if it hurts your back, anything in a bad way, I mean, we're adults. We know the difference between my muscles are burning because they're being worked, which is a good thing. That's what we're doing a workout for. Or something in my joint is hurting. Something in my, um, my nerves is hurting. That's a, a bad hurt. We don't want that. We know a difference between a good hurt and a bad hurt. If you have a bad hurt, then we don't want to go explosive because then we're starting to get into bad form and we're no longer working the muscles, which is what we're here to do in our workout. So then that's what the modification is there to help to do for you. It's there so that you can still, in the Tabata example, 
Bring your heart rate up in those 10 seconds. Increase your endurance. Work those muscles, build those muscles. So instead of going explosive, we can keep one foot connected to the ground at all times, lifting one leg at a time. We always pull our lower belly in, so we're using our muscles instead of our joints. So when we work out, we always want to think about, your trainer will be telling you when you're following a workout program, so like I have mine on my TV, and she's telling us, what muscles am I trying to work? I'm trying to think about my core muscles. I'm trying to think about my quad muscles, my hamstrings, my glutes. So I'm thinking about those instead of thinking about my joints. I don't want to think about my knees, and I'm just lifting my knees, okay? Already I'm getting out of breath just doing that. Now the point of the Tabata workout, for example, that I was doing today was doing that. I wanted to more than just work my muscles doing that. I wanted to increase my heart rate to 70% capacity in just 10 seconds. So in order to do that, I would need to really work my hardest. So how do you do that without going full explosive high impact? Oh man, you totally can. Let me give you an example of that. You just lift those knees up, you use your arms, and you go. You're still pulling your belly in, and you go. And you got your 10 seconds, and then you rest. And in a Tabata, after your 20 seconds rest, you're gonna repeat again. And each time you do, you're gonna go a little bit faster, and you're gonna go a little harder, and you're gonna bring that heart rate up more and more each time. And you see, I'm sweating. You can't probably see that, but I feel it. And my heart rate is up and it works. And I did not have to go high impact. And I'm getting the full benefit of the workout because my heart is beating out of my chest right now. So modifications, they're giving you 100% of the workout, whatever workout you are following. They are there to help you build that strength, help you build that endurance, and help you get the results that you're looking for. So anytime you hit a workout program and you're feeling like, oh, my strength's not there yet, or something in my body is not feeling good, follow that modification. It is there so that you can always be improving. I hope that's really helpful for you today. I have a group that is starting on January 4th. So if you are looking for some more motivation, some really great support, and a whole library of ideas of what workouts to do on a daily basis, then I'd love for you to join us. Our registration, my registration starts on December 21st officially, which is Monday. So now is the time for us to talk about the best plan for you. So go ahead and message me below or send me a private message. I can't wait to talk to you. All right, have a really happy Friday. Bye-bye.